What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Billy Kibaki and today I'm going to show you how to play PSP games on your PS3 using the PS3 hand exploit. Now it's very simple guys, you will need your PSP game so go ahead and download whichever PSP game you want to try out. I would recommend trying out a small game first just to get the hang of it. Make sure that it's in ISO form because I haven't tried um, any other PS3 format except from ISO. So go ahead, download your PSP game in ISO and then after that what you want to do, you want to go over to the PSX Place website. I will leave the link in the description and you want to scroll down to this one right here because this is the link for the tool that we're going to use to convert the PSP game and after that guys like maybe like tomorrow I'll work my way down and do PS2 and PS1 but in this video I'm just gonna do the PSP so click on this link right here it's gonna take you to this page so scroll down and click on download here now you can use any one of these three links but I normally use send space and just click right here and download the tool now after after you have got the, the tools you can save it anywhere you want to save it so I save mine in my hand ps3 folder you can save yours anywhere and this is the tool that we're going to use this one right here and this is the PSP game that I will be using so I'll go ahead and extract the PSP tool first and I get this folder and this is how it looks inside and now I will go ahead and extract the PSP game perfect now inside your PSP game you might get an ice you might get a ISO right away if not you might have to extract one more file so I'll go ahead and extract this one and as you can see it created a ISO right here so I'll go ahead and cut this and I'll go back out and I'll paste it right here now remember that I only need the ISO so you can go ahead and delete the raw the, the unraw file but before I do that I'll just rename my ISO so I can keep it clean so I'll delete this now and I will rename my ISO okay perfect now what we need to do from right here we need to um, convert the ISO into a PKG format so go inside th the PSP tool and you wanna click right here so open this up and remember guys turn your antivirus off because sometimes your antivirus might think these um, applications are virus and it will delete the file or stop it from working so once you have this open up click right here and you want to search for your ISO now this is my ISO right here so click it open and you will see that the icon change to the to the PSP games so press option and you just want to leave it as it is you can choose okay you can choose mini you can choose remaster or you can choose mini um it doesn't really make a difference the only thing it does is that the game will say remaster when it's done when, when it's on your ps3 it will say remaster uh, or it will say mini on your ps3 so i normally just use mini and that's it so after you choose whatever you want up here don't mess with anything else down here just press convert and this is gonna take a, t um, a little bit of time so give it time for it to finish okay so when you get when you get to this message right here press press make pkg to continue so press this now make pkg and it's gonna start create the package file
okay so once it's done you will be greeted with this um, this page right here now this page contain the PKG file so you can close the PS3 mini down and you wanna you wanna cut this so we're gonna cut this from right here but first let's go back out of this folder and let's go inside the P the remaster let me go back out and show you go inside the PS3 resigner then go inside the rift gen master and let's go back for that folder now so this is the game if I right click you'll see the name of the game and it says PKG so cut make sure that you cut it and you want to paste it in this folder right here perfect now you can close down the result folder now what we need to do from right here is drag this over to the rift gen right here now it's gonna ask you is this PKG type PSP mini or PSX so just type yes because it is a PSP mini game it doesn't matter if it's a mini or remaster it will ask you the same thing so just press yes and press enter and let it um, decrypt okay now it's done it says PKG signed so you can close this down and now we have two files the top one says uh, PKG and the second one says PKG underscore signed PKG so let's delete this one that says only PKG delete it now let's cut this one and let's put it on the USB stick okay so now it's done go ahead and eject your USB stick and put it in the PS3 okay so now let's bring up the PS3 and you wanna make sure that you have on enable make sure that you enable hand first so before you start this process make sure hand is enabled so go to your package manager go down to install package file go down to standard and you should see your game right here now go ahead and press X to install it and you will get this please wait message this is just copying the game from your USB stick over to the internal hard drive of your PS3 so this will take time depending on, on how large your game is if it's a small game it will run really fast if it's a larger game it will take more time to copy over so give it time okay so now it's finished so press circle and go up to your PlayStation network content press X and you should see your game in there and as you see underneath the game it says mini right here and it says PKG underscore sign PKG so press X to install and now it's complete so let's go back out press circle and the game is down here so let me turn this down before testing the game out okay so let's go ahead and start the game try it out first and there you go we got a mini on the screen and now the game is now starting up so it's very simple guys very very simple to do and easy so guys if you did like this ch this video remember there's a like button underneath this video you can click that and there's also a share button so click it and share it on your social media with your friends and stuff so thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video.